Okay guys, so one more time, brief overview of uh, not just the training, but how I took that example I gave you guys before and kind of uh, played around with that or or how you can see how that's the, the base template for more or less what I'm doing. However, how I organize it for myself is a bit different, uh, especially when it comes to the um, progression and the heavier work. So first of all, let's, let's uh, go uh, through this one more time. I'm training body parts four times a week, full body fashion. Um, and remember it's heavy, light, yeah I misspelled that on purpose, and then Walden's Farms, which means like zero calorie, very, very light. Um, so heavy for me is six to 10, 12 to 15 is um, kind of middle of, uh, of, of the road, and then uh, 15 to 20, the very intensive rep range, is uh, my super light day. Um, and again, when it comes to these two, basically how I, uh, I run those is I'll just pick a weight that say I get all, first time I, I try it, I get them all for 13s and then I'll keep pounding away at that weight until I get to the point where all the 13s turn to 15 and then I'll up the weight and the cycle starts again. Same thing here. Uh, this is the trickiest one when you've been lifting for a while. So this is uh, basically how I have um, maneuvered around that. Um, so let's, uh, let's flip it over to, to the next uh, dry erase board. Okay, very simple here. Uh, these are the heavy days. This is how we progress. Um, so like I said, I scale down the reps, bring up intensity, bring up the load. So it's week one, since I have two heavy days per week, it's, it's tens and then eights. Uh, and then week two is six and then tens. And then week three, eights and then sixes. And I do this for six weeks. And hopefully uh, adding a little weight here and there, um, I don't expect to add weight every single time at this point, but if I can, uh, if, if the p trend is overall a positive one, pff, good. Um, and then also another, a few other things that maybe I can't even quantify with uh, sets and reps is uh, I'll, I'll write down the, the rate of perceived effort. You know, how many reps I had left in the tank by the time I got to my last six right here. Uh, and maybe I didn't add more weight, but during these sixes, uh, it was a little bit easier. Four might have been cleaner. Um, so I don't expect to like progress, progress, progress. Uh, I, I kind of pick my spots with these and I kind of know where my baseline performances are at. Um, and then when I feel like I can strike, I will strike. Um, and again, this is going to be six weeks. I only wrote out three weeks. Every six week we deload across all rep ranges. The way we deload is we subtract the weight that we were using um, on, on the heavy stuff on the tens and we only do the tens. We subtract 10% of the weight, get rid of a set and that's our deload. Uh, and then when it comes to our, uh, secondaries our higher rep stuff, what we do is, um, is same thing, we subtract 10 to 15%, take away a set, and that's our deal out there. Um, and let's see, anything else I'm missing out here? Um, yeah, so uh, right now I'm not working with percentages. A big reason is because I'm kind of finding my groove on a few new movements, such as the bench press, the leg press. I was using a single leg leg press. So at this point I can progress pretty linear or, or linear for me anyways. Uh, and then after a while, what we'll do, especially for the heavy days, is we'll have percentages as opposed to auto-regulating. I like to, um, that way it kind of standardizes the amount of volume that uh, I, I do um, go through during a training phase. But this is how we're kicking things off. Again, deload every six weeks. Um, and hitting body parts four times a week. At a certain point, I am going to add more volume once I acclimate to all this, which means I will be hitting body parts five times a week. That will be, that's gonna be a PR for me in terms of frequency. Um, but uh, but I, I need to add just a little bit more volume, at least for a little bit, to see if uh, I can get away with, uh, with some last minute um, progress before again I do start dieting down next year so again I hope this makes sense this is how I took that concept I went over last time and how I am applying it to myself at the moment okay so my bench press is actually it's coming around pretty well this was uh, eights with 245 last week I did sixes with 245 I believe um, so I'm very pleased with that very very pleased and I think, again, I can progress in a pretty linear uh, fashion for the next, I'm going to say, maybe 10 weeks this way. And then I'll have to start considering 
um, using actual percentages that might be some maximal uh, early in a, in a training cycle and, and they build up over time. But for now, I'm still kind of reshaping my groove on this movement. Um, where did I want to go with this today? Let's see. Um, I'm working really hard. I'm working really hard because uh, I definitely feel that this next season, it's going to be my third season as, as a pro. I, I can't really consider my amateur season where I was thrown in a pro show part of uh, my first pro season. That was totally unexpected and unplanned for. Uh, but this is going to be my first time actually uh, that I can say, okay, I'm a, I'm, I'm a vet more or less and I need to uh, behave that way and I need to, um, I don't ever want to be that athlete that is, is looked at as, as he had so much potential, but he never put it together. And I think at this point, if you were to ask a lot of uh, the experts uh, within our natural bodybuilding community, that would be the general idea of me. Is it? I think up until this point, if you see my name on a pro lineup, um, you're like, wow, this, this dude, can, if he brings it, he's going to make it really rough for me but he's yet to bring it. And I don't want to get to the point where, you know, it's like, oh, Alberto's on the on the, um, on the the program. He's doing this show. Uh, it's just going to be Alberto. He'll, he'll, uh, he'll bring his, his usual. Um, and the usual is pretty good, but, you know, you have to be more than, than pretty good to, to win. So that is, uh, that is what's been going through my head is that I want to be able to look back and say that I lived up to my potential. I don't want to be that guy. I want... To win, um, so we're playing to win. We really are. Um, yeah. Um, so uh, first two movements on this day uh, keep in in the, they they keep in mind my weaknesses, which is always going to be the upper half. So what I do is I start with a bench press and a pull down, and then I have a lower body intermission. So I go, I hit calves, I hit calves before I actually hit my quads, and um, this at this point I'm still very excited about the training session. So. I do a very good job with, with the calves. I think that was a PR too, by the way, on that machine. Um, and then I did some leg pressing here, which was actually quite rough on this day. Um, so we did not progress. We just kind of kept it here. Um, it, again, I start, start off with my strong body, uh, weak body parts, have the, the, middle, the, 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 the weaker ones be intermission so that, that I can come back fresh and um, hit a few other body parts that I want to progress on. Um, with um, with a little bit more more rest so um, yeah upper body uh, gets a little lower body break and that's how I like to run my my uh, full body training sessions uh, legs are just always going to grow they're always going to progress year to year so long as I show up and try really hard but the upper half not so much um, so that was uh, that was yeah that was a lower body session and then we did um, we did some that, that DY row and this was I'm uh, not a, a PR. My poles just felt horrible on, on this day. Um, but yeah, I'm finding it's and bits of progress here and there. Um, it's, 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 again, it's really been on my mind these, these last few months that I really need to bring it. And um, again, I think a lot of people, they, they, they start bringing it once they start prepping. But I mean, your show is, is a big part of the show is one in the off season, so that's where my mind's been at. Um, I don't want to be that guy. I want to be more than just potential. Um, so that's that's basically it. Uh, I think uh, if there's anything novel that I have to share, it's probably this. This has kind of been um, a low back extensions with the pad below uh, my hip has been one of my bread and butters for uh, that whole posterior chain right now. It looks deceptively easy, but it's it's quite the complete movement. And right now that I'm not squatting and deadlifting, uh, it's it's something that that I can do to to help me out with um, some of those hip ex extensor muscles. Um, so I've been doing this, and then um, obviously you could do JHRs on this machine. But I've been really digging this, and I was so bad when I first started. So see, uh, those those should progress quite a bit the next few weeks. Not only in weight, but but form. Uh, and then of course we finish off with arms. Um, so yeah, a little hamstring intermission, posterior chain intermission there um, before uh, I finish off with arms, which again is still something that something that I need to bring up. They look okay because I'm sitting here curling with a pump, but not on stage. Um, but we're hoping to change that. So that's 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 where uh, my mind has been this week.
um, is don't be that guy. Live up to your potential. I think we all have things we can look back on and, and we think to ourselves, man, could I have done this? And I think I'm in a great spot to really, really start following through with that. Not that I have it in the past, but I need to pick it up a notch. And that's certainly something that I'm working really hard on doing. That's it.